The KC streetcar is mere months away now from coming online, and as we inch closer to its launch, we're learning more on how it will operate. 41 Action News reporter Brian Abel gives us a look at how to stay safe around the route and what you need to know to get ready to ride. Two of Kansas City's four streetcars are now testing on the tracks, and the first wave of feedback is already flooding in. Concerned on how they drive around these streetcars, how do they park around them. By now, drivers are learning about the new white lines and the tickets that come with not staying inside them. But how often will drivers see the streetcars sharing the road? The answer? A lot. Streetcar will be operating 365 days a year, seven days a week. During peak hours each day, three of the four streetcars will be on the Union Station to River Market and back routes, round trip per car, about 30 minutes. Things may change. We have um, 16 stops, we have traffic lights to contend with, we have crowds um, during major events. So those kinds of things will have to be taken into effect. All while contending with bicyclists and pedestrians, and though the streetcars must abide by the same rules as regular. Cars, safety is a much bigger issue when your mode of transportation weighs 78,000 pounds. If it does have to stop very abruptly, it takes about 60 feet for it to stop when traveling 25 miles per hour. And when you're behind the wheel of one of these, you have to think safety also. That's why you won't see one of these in here. For operators, cell phones are off limits. And it might benefit those outside the streetcar to follow suit. Really, um, look and listen. Streetcars are very quiet, so if you're on your phone or you're listening to music, it's very important to look around. Brian Abel, 41 Action News. Good advice there, Brian. Thanks. Riding the streetcars free. All riders will need to exit when the car returns to Union Station. Officials say that will prevent homeless people or others from permanently staying on board.